What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Estrada One, and this is my reaction to the brand new Mortal Kombat 1 gameplay that was released. This is being played by the developers. So, first of all, I gotta say, it looks amazing, okay? This absolutely feels er, and looks so smooth. Now, listen, Mortal Kombat 11 already has amazing graphics, so I, I didn't really think that they would be able to outdo themselves graphics-wise, but you can tell that they're going in a different direction with the Mortal Kombat 1 game than they were with Mortal Kombat 11. Mortal Kombat 11 felt more, uh, not as fast, right? I saw in an interview that Ed Boon, who is the co-creator of the Mortal Kombat series, had stated that this game is kind of like the end all for the games that they've all done, you know, kind of leading up to this point here where they just kind of threw the kitchen sink at you and allow you as a player to just have fun and have everything at your disposable disposal to have like more combos, uh, air, more air combos, more juggles, more different things like that, that, that make this, I really think this is going to be the standout game in the Mortal Kombat series, because from what I can tell, especially with this gameplay, it just looks amazing. I love the new cameos. Uh, it's going to add a completely new way of playing Mortal Kombat, if you think about it, right? You know, we've had cameo-like Mortal Kombats in the past. Um, especially in Mortal Kombat 9, you know, you had like kind of that tag team feature in there. This is really cool the way that they're doing it, and they're making it so simple to be able to do. From what they've said, it's just like a button combination press, and then that's all it is to have your you know, other character come in and really kind of add to your combo or kind of disrupt things. It's just, they're just really throwing the kitchen sink at you. Uh, obviously, the fatalities look really, really good. Everything just seems freaking smooth, and I'm just so impressed and excited uh, to get a chance to play this, and hopefully, hopefully I will get to have the chance to show off some gameplay to you guys early at some point. I gotta get in contact with some of my WB contacts, because this game just looks absolutely amazing. And for those of us that actually played and finished Mortal Kombat 11, we know exactly where the story went. It's pretty much a brand new world. It's a, it's a whole new timeline. Liu Kang is everything. He is essentially the, uh, the villain from the last game. And so, he's in control of the entire timeline. He's above Raiden, he's above the Elder Gods, he's above all of them. So, it's gonna be interesting to see how that plays into the game as well, because how can you have, um, you know, Liu Kang fight off against these characters when he could easily beat them, like, with no problem? So, I don't know how they're gonna explain that, but that's gonna be something that I'm looking forward to seeing how they're gonna actually kind of explain. But look at look at look at this Kenshi gameplay. Like I'm so freaking I, I I just cannot hold my excitement. And I had to do a video because I saw that a new seven minute clip kind of came out to show off actually first gameplay outside of the trailer. And look at how smooth it is. It just feels faster than Mortal Kombat 11. And I got to know Mortal Kombat 11 quite a bit because back when I was streaming on Facebook, I did literally hundreds of hours of streams on Mortal Kombat 11 when the game came out. And I had such a blast learning the characters and really getting good at their moves and their combos and all that kind of stuff. And I could really feel my, I could really see myself getting sucked in. Now, the biggest problem with a game like this, let's check out this fatality. Oh, <laughs> that's so good. And with that being said, the biggest thing about being a creator for YouTube or Twitch or wherever you want to be a creator for living in your sister's shadow wastes your potential. It is my duty and privilege to serve her. I love those little dialogues. It's really gonna add now it all just it's so seamlessly. There's no cuts. It's just it's so it's so awesome. It just feels like it just flows together. But as I was saying, you know, these this type of game can be heavily demonetized on the channel, but that is still not kind of keeping me from from playing this and showing it off to all of you. We're going to be doing a full walkthrough on the story, of course. I'm going to get to know all the characters, see which ones I feel best with. I really, really loved playing with Garrus. I loved playing with um, 
Scorpion, you know, a lot of people love Scorpion, obviously, but I got really good with his moves. I love playing his Robocop. That was so much fun. Terminator. I mean, there are so many good characters uh, from Mortal Kombat 11. And I can't wait to see what other characters that they have, you know, coming into this game as well, because I think that's going to be really fun. But the fact is that they've got the cameo for um, Jean-Claude Van Damme. I mean, how awesome is that? He is the original inspiration for Johnny Cage. And to have him in this game it, with his voice and his likeness is huge. Now, if they were, like, somehow able to have him be actually in the story... Could you imagine what that would have been like, you know? They got Ronda Rousey, obviously, for Mortal Kombat 11. She played Sonya. So, I, I doubt, I'm, or at least I'm not 100% sure, if Jean-Claude is going to be in the story. We haven't really heard anything uh, story-related yet so far. But that would be super cool. On the underworld is taking innocent lives. Am I to blame for my enemy's wanton violence? Man. I was really thinking to myself, I was like, how are they going to top Mortal Kombat 11, looks-wise? But I don't really think that they topped it. I think that they've just changed the palette a little bit. They made everything a little less weighty, I guess you could say. And it just, it, I don't know, it, it looks smooth. Like, there's a shine to the gameplay, even more so. Obviously, you're going to have to get used to the new systems. I don't. It doesn't look like it's going to be the same systems as before. But it's going to be interesting to learn everything all over again. And I, for one, am super excited about that. So check out the rest of the gameplay. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you going to pick it up? Are you going to play it? Are you excited to watch my walkthrough for the game? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you to the Patreons and everyone and the members that make it possible for me to make all of these videos. Love you guys. Be safe. And thank you for being you. Peace.